Howdy from Texas. Let's talk about another piece of essential equipment that we always use, flags, cutters, and scrims. When you flag something, that means you're blocking the light off something. You're blocking, you're flagging the lens. So you're blocking the light off the lens or you're blocking the light at the source from the subject or something else. Um, so when we flag something on set, we usually start with black. These are black flags or we refer to them as solids because light doesn't penetrate through these things. So we'll have different sizes. This is an, a 12 by 18 inch. This is a mini meat ax. This is a meat ax. It's just a really long, tall, flat um, flag or a solid. And then we have a two by three, which is also in feet. And like I said, we use these to block light going towards the lens or we'll block it at the light source so it won't spill anywhere else. This stuff is called duvetine. The actual material is called duvetine. It is a, uh, has a spray-on flame resistant coating on it and it has a soft side and a not soft side. I guess it's called the hard side. But you generally want to put the soft side towards the set so light doesn't spill. Uh, it gives less chance for light to spill. But again, this is, a, this is a flag, or we refer these to as solids. And also we have a, a couple of them using, um, as we're using them as sound blocks above the set. These are four by four foot floppies. And uh, it's the solid four feet by four feet, and it also has an extra flap that comes down. Sorry about the noise, guys. Again, this is a working space, so, uh, we're happy to be here and uh, we're gonna have to deal with some of those noises. But, so that's a flag or solids. And then we get into, we can soften the light. This is a silk. This is an artificial silk. When they come this size, it's really rare to find them in China silk. China silk is a less dense silk and China silk is actually real silk and it won't catch on fire. This stuff will catch on fire. Uh, on the China silk, it'll burn, but it won't flame up for a very long time. But these are used to soften the light a little bit. And you generally drop about a stop to stop and three quarter on these ones. Um, they make, some manufacturers make a thicker one, you probably drop two, two and a half stops. But that's what a silk does, it's it softens the light. You can use these outside for natural light and they're great. If you're doing a, a quick portrait, uh, just a headshot, this might be a great option to help block the sun, still get a lot of great light. It actually softens the shadows and it's quick to set up. Someone can just handhold this or Hollywood it. Hollywood means handhold. They do make these in different sizes. As you can see, they make them in almost all sizes of silks, except I've never seen a meat ax in a silk. Every meat axe I've ever seen is only a solid. Next up, these, this is an actual scrim. So scrim is made out of bobbinet material. This is also flame resistant. And bobbinet is basically little tiny hex holes. And what it does is it also doesn't necessarily soften light too much but it blocks the light. So an example here, this green one is a single. It's not a one stop. It's a really important distinction. This is not a one stop scrim. This is a single, which means it has a single layer of material that helps control the light, help block the light a little bit. And they make these in different sizes as well. The red one, so green means single, the red one always means double, which means two pieces of material, two layers of bobbinet. And then that controls, that takes down the light a little bit more, two times as much as that, doubles it, okay? And these come in a variety of sizes, up to four by four, and up when you get to overheads, we'll talk about it in another chapter, up to 20 by 20 foot. And then this one, blue, is three layers and blue is always triple. So it blocks 
more light than the double. So single, double, and triple. Again, that's all bobbinet on that. And then we have our solids and our silks. That's a real basic kit to have when you are um, on location and you need to use some kind of light control. The triples are a little more rare to find, but they're super handy to have. If you don't find a triple and you need that much blockage, use a double and a single together. That's totally fine. And uh, that's it. Take care.